everyone. Welcome to Faith and Yoga at St. Bartholomew's. I'm Dixie. I'm here with my husband Fred and Aaron Porter. And we welcome you to this month of November. In November, we're going to have our focus on gratitude. Gratitude itself is the act of noticing and appreciating the good things in your life. And we can all find some good things in our life on a daily basis. Gratitude is a new habit to commit yourself to work on for the month of November and then all the months following as well. It can turn negative into positives and just like so many things, um, gratitude is part of the yoga lifestyle, bringing that part of your heart and mind into appreciating what you have and uh, enjoying the simple things in life and appreciating them. The reasons to add gratitude into your daily life, it can help your psychological health, meaning anxiety and depression. It can help your physical health. It can strengthen relationships in your family and with your friends. And it also improves sleep. And there are some other things too that I've been finding as I move through this month of November about gratitude. Also, sharing a gratitude journal might be a good way to keep this habit going. And if you're thinking to yourself, well, I don't have time to write things down that I'm thankful, maybe you can snap a picture with your phone daily of something that inspired you or um, is a symbol of what you grat uh, have gratitude for that day and then you can look back on it after the month of November has passed. And also, be specific when you're journaling or thinking about gratitude. It's easy to say, I'm thankful for Erin, but I can also say, I'm thankful for Erin because she always comes, and if she can't come, she has time to let me know and we work out another plan. So I'm thankful for Erin. And I'm also thankful for Fred. Uh, grateful for Fred because uh, he shares the yoga class with me with the instruction and he can give different instructions to get to the same pose with a different approach. Maybe people can understand it better uh, doing it Fred's way. So anyhow, needless to say, I am grateful for both Aaron and Fred. The Bible verse that I picked out for this month comes from Proverbs chapter 16 verse 3. Commit thy works unto the Lord, and thy thoughts shall be established. I'm going to read that again. Commit thy works unto the Lord, and thy thoughts shall be established. I thought that was a good verse to use for gratitude, thinking about the, the thoughts that you have of gratitude and putting them into work. And then one more thing here before we go through with our warm-up. Ways to simplify gratitude. Don't wait to say thank you. Hey, Erin and Fred, thanks for showing up today. Write down your gratitude or take a picture of it. Remind yourself to be grateful. And don't wait for things to be good to be grateful. Be grateful where you are right now. And just a few things to think about for journal prompts. Maybe you want to write something down about your family, about your home, nature, something that makes you feel cozy, maybe a favorite sweater or a fleece or a blanket. Maybe something fun like going on a trip to a garden to see how it looks this time of year. Friendship, faith. But whatever you choose to journal about, it allows you to focus on this gratitude. So I thank you for coming today and spending a little bit of time with us and we'll start moving on with our yoga practice. So we're going to start by standing. Put one heart on your hand on one hand on your heart and one hand on your belly. Breathe in deep into your belly. And then let yourself exhale through your mouth. If you feel that you'd like to close your eyes while you're doing this or soften your gaze, please do whatever's comfortable for you. Breathe in and breathe out. 
Breathing in through your nose. A long exhale through your mouth. Three more breaths like this in your own time. Next inhalation, let your arms come up. Grabbing a hold of your right wrist and pulling it gently across for a bend. Breathing in deep to the right side of those ribs. Exhaling out. Two more breaths here in your own time. to the other side. Breathing in deep <clears throat> until the left side of your ribs, feeling that nice stretch. One more big breath in. And out. Coming back up. And slowly letting your hands come down in front of you here. Stopping when you meet midsection here. We're going to open to the left with a twist. Gaze turns and looks out over that thumb. Big breath here. And out. Another breath in. And out. One more breath in. And exhale as you bring that arm to the front and center again. <clears throat> this time opening up to the right. Breathing in. And out. Another breath in. And out. One more breath in. And as you exhale, bringing it forward. Bringing your hands into heart center. Taking a moment to breathe in. As you exhale, bring your chin to chest. And take a moment and bring something or someone or somewhere to mind. And express in your own way a thought of gratitude. a little closer together and we're going to start with a little spin here getting warmed up so with our spins you can go fast or you can go slow it's up to you but just get that midsection moving spins here and then we'll slow it down.
we're going to work on our neck a little bit. First by simply pulling half from side to side. Making that little half moon or smile motion. And do three more. And then taking that left ear towards your left shoulder, just a little lean here. Holding it, take a breath in. And exhale. And return to center. And we'll do the same on the other side. Just a gentle lean, big breath in. And exhale, relax your shoulders down. I felt like I was holding mine. So if you're doing the same, relax your shoulders down. Return to center. And now we're going to take our head all the way around, if your neck allows it, three times to the right. Nice and slow. And when you finish that three times, give yourself a little repositioning and then go the opposite direction for three times. And once again, a little bit of a shoulder shake when you're ready. <clears throat> Put your arms out in front of you so they're toward the horizon. Grasp your left arm and pull it across your chest. Gentle stretch here. Give your fingers a little wiggle. Two more breaths here. And then release back to center. And we're going to do the same with the right arm, pulling it across our chest. And once again, three breaths here. arms up so they're in cactus arms. Open up your chest and lean back for a mini back bend, opening and lifting your chest as you gaze up, if your back and neck allow it. Realigning your spine, coming back to standing, and then let's go back again. up to straight spine, and then one more time back. And back to center, good. Give those arms a little shake. We're going to step our feet apart, um, more than uh, hips, a hip distance. Feet are pointing out in front of us, and we're going to bend down into the goddess pose here. And hands are on our hips. And we're going to take our right elbow toward the center. Our right shoulder, I'm sorry, right shoulder toward the center. So just like a bend like that. And then back up. And then do the same with the left shoulder. Back up. And then another time. From here, we're going to hook into our hip crease here and lean forward with a flat back. Holding here, if you need to bend your knees a little, you can. And then releasing down into a wide legged forward fold, grasping opposite elbows, letting your head hang heavy, and doing a little splay from side to side. 
Shaking your head, yes. Shaking your head, no. And once again with the sway. Take a deep breath in here. Through the nose and bring it out through your mouth. Maybe a little bit deeper down. And let your arms swing forward and back. And then slowly let yourself round back up. And arms are out again into the goddess arms. And a baby back bend one more time. And then put your hands on your hips. And one more time with the um, right shoulder coming down with the bend. And let's, let's squat back down to our knees. I'm sorry. Uh, left elbow, come, left shoulder coming down. And then coming back up. And then again. And then two more times with each side. Meeting in a standard position, standing position. And while we're here, let's get those arms up for star. Gaze looks up, hands, fingers are spread wide. Bring your hands together in the front, and let's do a squat for horse. Push up through, reach again for star. Bring those hands together and down for the horse. Push up through for star. And come down for the horse. Good, then push up through and then bring your legs back together again. Give yourself a little break here. Maybe do a little bit of uh, stepping back and forth. <clears throat> Um, in the previous weeks, uh, we did some walking differently. Instead of just walking forward in your normal pace, it's a good idea to every now and then do some backward walking. And also, to the left, take some steps, and then to the right. Step forward. Take a moment again. Take a deep breath in. And exhale. The other thing that's a good thing to do <clears throat> is to put something on the floor or pretend there's something on the floor and actually step over it. That's another way to help prevent falls. Through this season where it's soon going to be icy and who knows what else. <laughs> so one more time, pretending that you're stepping over something. Coming back to center here. Once again, shake your legs out a little bit. Okay, we're going to move into chair pose here. So with chair pose, you want your uh, legs, your, your feet to be about hip distance apart. You want to settle back. You want to be able to look down and see if you can see your toes. And if you can see your toes, your arms go up. And let's try and get them by our ears. Keep those arms straight. You can sit back. If you can't see your toes, then you need to sit back a little bit more. Holding here. Breathing in and out. In and out. In and out. Good. And then pushing up through. 
Good job. Once again, do a little shake. <clears throat> and we're going to um, come to either, well, a, the short side of the mat. And we're going to do some high lunges here. So before we do it, when you're in high lunge, it's a good thing for your foot to be in the crescent. So you're going to be up on the balls of your feet for this lunge part. So not flat like this. This is like crescent. It's called crescent lunge or crescent warrior. So let's just wait here. Let's do one breath in and out. Next breath in. Let's step back with our left foot. Up on the toes here. Take a look at your foot. Is your knee aligned with your ankle there? If it is, that's great. Bend into that for high lunge. We can start here with our arms. Next breath in. Maybe we bring them up a little bit. See if you can settle down into your hips here with your balance and your stretching. Do what's comfortable for you. And then we're just going to slightly let ourselves come forward over our thigh. Just like this. As far as you can go, meeting your edge, when you met your edge, just come back up again into high lunge. And then bring your hands down by your side. Now this left foot we're going to turn out and it will help us be in warrior two stance here. So just take a moment. Is the arch of your foot in alignment with the heel of your front foot? Is your knee bent? Knee over your ankle. If that is all in line, put those arms out straight, looking over your front hand fingers for warrior two. Take a peek back. Is your back arm the same height as your right? Wonderful. Take a breath in. And out. Another breath in. And out. One more breath in. And out. We're going to straighten this front leg. This hand comes down to the shin. And rests here on your right shin. And then your left hand opens up to the sky for triangle pose. Good job, Erin and Fred looking great. <clears throat> now bring that left hand so it's up by your ear and redirect your gaze to look at the fingers if your neck allows it. And then return that arm to the sky. And then lift that right arm up, bend into the knee. We're back in warrior two. We push off with our back foot and come to the front of the mat. And let's spin here. That was great. Good job. Shake your arms a little too. Okay. So here we are. Remember again about when you go to high lunge to have your foot in the crescent position. So hands on hips. Step back with your right foot. Take a moment woo, to um, see if you're on the ball of your foot and check the stance and the position of your left. When you feel ready, lift those arms. And then slowly, let yourself bend forward. When you reach your edge and your balance is starting to get wonky, let yourself come back up again. Build a stretch here. Take a deep breath in and out. Another breath in and out. Put your hands back on your hips. Turn that right foot so it's parallel with the back of your mat, the short side. Check your line. I have to move mine a little bit if you're for warrior two. And when you're ready, 
Put those arms out straight. Gaze is out over your left hand. Check the back hand to see if it's the same height. And lean into that. Good job. Take a breath in. And out. Another breath in. And out. Big breath in. Out through the mouth. Straighten that front leg. Left hand comes down on the shin. And right arm goes up. <clears throat> for triangle pose. Holding here. Big breath in. As you exhale, bring that arm up along your ear. Gaze looks out overhead. Next breath, arm goes back up. Bend back into the knee into warrior two. And take that step forward. Good job. Let yourself shake it off here a little bit. And maybe do a few spins. And I have one more thing I want to do with you here on the standing portion. And first of all, we're going to start by uh, standing and doing uh, some leg lifts here. So this is what I'd like you to do. Get strong into your right foot and lift your left one up. Foot is parallel. Holding it, finding your balance, and then replacing it. Give yourself a little spin. <clears throat> Once again, hands are on the hips. Strong into the left foot, lifting the right one. And down. Now we're going to do that with each foot two more times, and then we'll go into our next pose. So here we go. Big breath in and out. It helps if you find something to focus on. Great job. Now the other. And down. Last time here. And down. And one more time. And down. Now, coming to the short side of your mat again, just give yourself a little oh, roll your shoulders back. And we are going to put our hands on our hips. We're going to get strong into that right foot, lift the left one up, hands come to heart center. And as you can, we're going to lean forward and extend our foot back into warrior three. Whatever you can do. And I'm bringing it back. Good job for however far you got with that. That's something you can practice on. Getting strong into the left foot. Hands are back on hips. Let's bring that right foot up. Find something to focus on. Hands to heart. Let yourself lean forward and extend that leg back. Holding, breathing, doing the best you can, and when you let it go, that's it. So that's your little bit of challenge for the month of November for Warrior Three. So good job, good job. So let me see here. We did a little bit of mountain. We did not do tree pose. So. Fred, would you want to come up and do tree pose for us? I'm going to step back off the mat because it makes it a little easier if you're on a firm surface versus the mat. So we'll start out and we'll take our right foot to our left ankle. You can bring it up to your calf. Maybe hands on hips. Get comfortable. Bring it all the way up to your thigh. 
and he set his arms up gradually to the tree, hands to heart center, and release it down. And coming back to the other side, and bring that left foot into the right ankle, maybe up to the, the calf, hands to heart center, maybe up to the thigh, if you're comfortable. Those arms up overhead and release down. Tree pose. Very good. Got some good trees here. Thanks, Rick. No one can say we didn't do your balance poses today. That's what I'm sure. So meet me again at the back of the mat. We're going to transition into down dog here. So a forward fold, slight bend of the knees, hands come down to the mat. <clears throat> for down dog. Walk your dog here. And then let your body come forward into high plank. Holding here for five, four, three, two, one. Let your knees come to the mat. Let your toes come together. Widen your thighs so you can settle down into a child's pose here. A well-deserved child's pose. And let yourself relax in this. Taking a deep breath in. And out. Another breath in. And out. to the thoughts of gratitude, bringing a family member maybe to mind, someone you're extra grateful for, looking at that person, right in, and out. Another right in, and out. One more right in. Letting yourself transition into tabletop position. Remembering in tabletop position, your shoulder should be in line with your wrist, your hips and knees should be in line. And you should be able to look back in the space between your legs and not see your toes. So, that being said, everyone's got that. The next inhalation, let your belly drop. Gaze looks up for cow. Exhale, pull that belly button into your spine. Round it up for cat. Inhale and drop cow. 